I hope it's recording. I gotta get that remote. That's what I have to do. That's what I need to get. It's always gonna go for me turning the damn camera around. Oh, that's fucking funny as hell. Oh man. Yeah, this video is gonna be a little lighter. I'm just gonna sit here and shoot the shit, as the kids say nowadays. Sometimes. Yeah, kids don't say that. I I don't know who says that, but I just decided to come out with that one. Apparently. I want to cover the mic. I do want to hear myself talk a little bit. I already mumble enough as it is. I'm just gonna sit here and fucking. I don't know. I mean, I literally, I could waste. I could probably kill the rest of this battery talking about music. I've definitely done plenty of that on that other, that other site, but. I mean, I, I just, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta kind of, kind of let things go, and you gotta know when to step in and, and stop thinking too much over things because, you know, <clears throat> of course, if you look at a situation any different way, then. It, it being somewhat positive, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody right now, but just bear with me. If you sit here and analyze every single situation and twist it in a way that makes it like it's not a good situation, that makes sense? Like, oh, you know, it, you know, I had to work so hard to get to this level, but it's like I had to sacrifice all this to get this. And, you know, when you look back at, look, you know, look at, ugh, when you look back at certain things like that, of course you're going to sit there and, and and be like, wow, you know, maybe it really isn't worth it. Maybe this isn't worth it. Maybe that's not worth it. You know, look at all the stuff I had to do just to, to get whatever, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. And I honestly don't feel like saying what I mean. Because I just not. Because <laughs> if I do, I'm gonna sound <clears throat> a lot less credible than how I am right now. So I, I literally was just sitting there thinking today. This happened today. I was just sitting around thinking about something, as I do from time to time, because I am kind of like a human and stuff like that. So you know that kind of happens every once in a while. So I was just thinking, like, you know, there's always, like, ways to, like, twist around positive situations into negative ones in the sense of it being, like, you know, you could always kind of, like, use what you're, how, what level you've got to, but using all the stuff you had to sacrifice to get to that, and, you know, maybe dignity was an issue, maybe pride was an issue, but... If you sit there and think of all that kind of stuff, then it doesn't matter how much success you gain, you're always going to have some kind of, like, emptiness. And I think analyzing stuff too much in that sense is probably not good. Because I, I could probably honestly say I've done that more times than I'd like to admit. So... You can't, you really, you can't think of every situation like that. You have to just kind of take things for what they are. And I definitely have been saying that a lot lately. But you, you have to. Of course, if you look at a situation a certain way and twist it around, of course it's going to seem negative. You know, you know I, I don't know. I don't always think negative, though. That's, that's not true about me. I think positive when it comes to, like, stuff I'm really passionate about. Like, I could be engaged with somebody on a level... If I'm into certain things that they're into and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, just common interests. But when it comes to, like, introspective stuff. Like, stuff that's, like, personal. Stuff that I would never tell any other human being in the world. I tend to kind of twist it in a different way. I have no idea why I do that. It's a part of who I am, I guess. I don't know. But I, I, do, I notice I do that. And... 
I just I was just thinking, I was like, you know, that's probably not really the best way to go about things. Because in the end, you really you I mean, yeah, it is true, you have to think about how you feel in the end and everything like that, but if you think that something is worth sacrificing practically everything else to to attain it, then you're really not doing anything wrong if it doesn't harm anybody. And if it's not, you know, obviously legal and all that kind of stuff. So, that's a different story if it, like, you know, if it does all that. But, in the sense of that, I have no idea. I mean, it, I, I could, I could certainly say that I've definitely, I've done that from time to time. But, you know, by putting all that stuff and just making it like that's the only reason that I would, I would, you know, it's the only way that I would look at it as all the stuff you would sacrifice to attain a certain goal or whatever it would be. And that's not necessarily the, always the best way to look at it. Sometimes you have to think, you know, well, something inside you made you, made you put everything else aside and, and pushed you to, to kind of, to, to take you to, to be motivated enough to do that. So if if it's really something deep down that you think would be worth it, then putting all that other stuff aside shouldn't matter, if that makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. So in the end, I mean, people are going to always think what they're going to think. There's no way you're going to control how people think of you. And I learned that a long time ago. But, you know, we don't have to get into that. People, if they want to fuck with you, they're going to fuck with you anyway, shape, or form. Learned that a long time ago also. And we don't need to get into that either. But in the end, you do have to have, you know, a good amount of self-respect. But I do think that there are certain cases. I mean, these are special cases. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's like, no lightweight stuff. This is this is serious stuff that I mean that you put aside certain aspects of your I guess it would be considered your pride, I guess dignity in certain cases. And and just everything else, reputation, whatever. If you think it's worth it, then it might I would say seven out of ten times it's probably it probably is worth it. Those other three times are freaking crapshoot. You never know. <laughs> so it is taking a risk. That that it is. But I mean, if you don't take any risks, then you. I don't want to say you're not living, but you're not living up to the life that you could potentially have. So. And you will never know unless you try. And how hard you try depends on how. How much you really want it, really. I mean. I mean, th think about all the stuff that people have accomplished in this world so far. People had to have failed at least once or twice. I mean, I could just look around the room and see all the stuff, all this technology and everything. I mean, I use technology a lot, but I mean, just look at all the, we have all these buildings and it's just, everybody had to come up with all that kind of stuff, you know? Like, it, there's just, people had to have, people didn't get that right at first. They had to fail at least two or three times before they're like, okay, now we got it, you know? So you can't be afraid to fail. And some people always say, oh, we don't fail, there's not an option. <clears throat> Failure is not an option. Well, you know what? It, it's always an option. You have to, <laughs> you have to accept that that is definitely going to be a possibility. But if you're afraid to fall on your face and fall on your ass, then you honestly don't deserve to do what you're trying to do. You don't deserve the rewards from it either. Because that's always an option. And by failing, you will you will know that if you keep getting up every time for the same things, mind you, and, you know, get yourself back in the same groove of doing that exact same thing, then you know that that's worth it. So, just a little, just a little tidbit on that one. Because I think that's happened to people before. It's any facet of their life, whether it's personal, business, you know, professional, I guess you'd say. 
um, social. It's it, it's definitely it's definitely out there. So that's all right. I'm done talking. You don't have to listen to me anymore. All right, let me figure this stupid thing out again.